Hello, my fellow Yarniacs. This is Sandy, and um, this is my second video. Um, I have a mix-up with my channels, and I'm not sure exactly how to get it solved, but I'm working on it. So, I'm really, really requesting you to subscribe to this channel and like my videos, if you like my videos. <laughs> um, and I'll try very hard to make sure that the subscriptions to this channel get put wherever it wound up. What I, I won't even bother you with the details of how it wound up or how it, how it all came about. But right now I have three different channels, but they all seem to be under Sandy Duda, even though the name I'm working towards is Left Is Right Crochet. So if you remember Sandy Duda, you'll probably be able to find me if you wanna. If you don't wanna, then it doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> Okay, I guess we start with uh, works in progress. Okay, I have knitto slippers that I made very, very easy to do. And believe it or not, this is the same skein of yarn. This is just the way it played out. These are work in progress because I don't have the little flowers on them to tell me which is right and which is left. But left is right, so I... <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> so, if I get flowers, maybe I'll figure it out someday. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, another work in progress. Oops, I ruffled her petticoat. It's my little angel here. I don't have her finished. Um, her little hands are going to be praying, hopefully. What's not finished about her is I still have some ends that have escaped being sewn in yet. We don't pay attention to those. And um, I still need to go to the uh, hobby store and get the wire for her halo. And my husband says she looks blind without eyes, so I'm going to make some little closed eyes with itty bitty eyelashes. Hopefully. That's the intention anyway. So there she is, my little angel. Inky three. Little three. Okay, so, uh, those are my work in progress. Well, actually, I'm still working on the shawl I showed yesterday, but that's going to be a while. Um, finished objects. Oh, guys, these are going to be too big, and I'm not going to be able to get them in all the way, but this is the mile a minute afghan, or lap gan, or lap robe, or baby blanket, or whatever it wants to be, um, that this pattern was from... The Secret Yarn Room. Oh, and there go the dogs. I warned you that would happen. Um, and the term mile a minute is totally appropriate. This is done, in case you don't know, or even if you do know, it's still done that way. Uh, the strips are done, and they go really fast. And you can make them all one color, variegated, plain, different colors, different it's, it's kind of good to stay within the same weight of yarn if you can, because otherwise one will be longer and one will be shorter, and it's hard to get them matched up, and one will all scrunch and be a serpent, and that's, we don't like that. Well, you wouldn't like that. Anyway, um, but they go really, really fast, and you make the strips one at a time, and then she shows you how to join them together, easy peasy, and out, and out, and out, and oh, that, oh, never mind. Uh, the crochet hook goes in and out. Yes, there you go. And that's the mile a minute. This little finished object here, a little being the operative word, well, I guess not not so much. This is a doggy sweater that's done, and it just did it out of a bunch of scrap pieces I had. I had the stuff for the collar, and then I put it around the little leg hole, the front leg holes. The back... Inside is much shorter. <clears throat> the back is longer. The, the bottom underneath the belly is shorter for the little necessary business that goes on down there that is necessary, and you don't want to have to watch this every time you walk your dog in the cold weather. This is really the wrong time of year to be showing you this. This is nuts. If I put this on one of my dogs right now, he'd probably run away from home, and I wouldn't blame him. But in any event, just some scrap yarn, Put it all together, 
And this was from the Crochet Crowd again, Mikey. Um, I, these next two, I really don't know how I'm going to get on camera because I have to sit close to my camera until I figure out a better way to do this. But this is an eight point star afghan. And you can see that it comes to the point, obviously. And then you've got your front post double crochets going all the way down to the center. It really gives it a nice texture. And again, you can use, this is a, a worsted. This is just um, Karen pound, one pound. And it works up really smoothly. This is a great television project. You just sit there and watch television and mindlessly crochet, just paying attention to when you get closer to have to doing something, which is not difficult at all. But in any event, I was pretty proud of that one. I've got to figure out a better way to do this. I guess it's more important for you to see the object than it is for you to see my face. So there we go. And that's that one. And the next one I did just because I love the color. It reminds me of a, a an ice cream, a creamsicle. Remember those? We used to chase the ice cream truck. And it's done in waffle stitch. And the true color's not really showing up very well at all. It's very pale to you. To me, it's very vibrant. It just looks like orange sherbet. Oh, my goodness, it's wonderful. And it's just a shawl. Just, uh, now, I'm a more than adequate woman. How's that? Did I do good? Um, supersized, okay. I like shawls that come around. I don't, I don't do the little tuck thing because they don't look good on me. They just don't. It's like hats. Hats don't look good on me at all. I never have. And I love hats. And I put them on and I look like some sort of gargantuan gorilla. But in any event, this is the back side. It looks very lovely. But the front side, that waffle stitch, it's so crisp and clean. And it's very easy to keep track of whether you're doing front post or back post. Um, it's, I just, I love the pattern. And again, this comes from the crochet crap. So, I guess that's all I have in the way of doing stuff. Had a great day today. Got to spend some time in Heidi's Hangout, which is always great fun. And got some really nice comments, not very many, maybe one or two, from my video post from yesterday. But... It was just delightful to hear from you guys. It just tripped my trigger. Tell you what, it did. It did. So please subscribe and please comment. I'm my yarn stash is two tubs of yarn. That's it. I don't have a wall. I don't have partitions. I don't have cubbies. I don't have Anything like that, just two of the plastic bins, that, and they're both only about a half full. So I could probably get it all in one. So I'm not going to be showing you my stash, because a lot of it has been partially used. But I am going to get some so that I can do a giveaway, because I really, 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 really want to do that. It looks like I watched Crystal do it, and oh, bag of day. Crystal has so much fun doing it. Isn't she adorable? She's just cuter than a button. And I love how tickled she gets with the different yarns. I don't know as anywhere near as much about yarns as most of you do. But I'm learning, and I'm going as fast as I can. Hopefully I'll get this channel situation straightened out so I can quit messing with that. I've wound up with three channels. If I try any harder, I'm going to get four channels. So I'm going to get some professional help and see what if I can't get it fixed. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please, please, please leave comments. It's really great getting to know you all. And as we say here on Left is Right, crochet away. Bye-bye.